Willkommen, German learners. I'm so glad you could join me today. I've been working on something very special for you. I have a 28-day plan for learning German rapidly. Stick around till the end to find out how you can get your hands on the free 28-day plan. The plan goes day by day for 28 days on all the topics that you need to learn in the German language. I've also carefully curated a list of German resources that are going to help you learn the German language. A lot of the resources are from academic sources like universities and places that I know are really good to learn German. So if you're ready to embark on a new language learning journey, stick around and watch today's video. It's good to see you again, German learners, and thank you to all the 500 subscribers who have joined me so far. I know it's a little bit late for this week's video because I've been working hard on getting the sounds adjusted so that the audio sounds better. And it might not be all the way there yet, but I think it'll be a big improvement from the last videos. So it just took me three months to find a good tutorial to figure it all out. Now I'm really excited to share this other thing I've been working really hard on. So the last week I made this 28 day plan on how to learn German. I split it up into four weeks and it's focusing on all the six important topics. Reading, writing, listening, speaking, vocabulary building, and grammar. These are the six core competencies that you need to focus on to learn German. So I've included them in each day that you practice. Now to learn German in 28 days is not easy. This is gonna take a lot of hard work. But for example, if you're going to study in the fall and you'd like to skip that first year of a language requirement, this could be the way to do it. It's also possible to break up this 28 day plan into three months or six months or a year for whatever time it, amount it takes you. Don't feel that you have to rush to learn German in 28 days. It's possible, but it's not a necessity. Also might consider changing this up, adapting it to your pace and how much time you have to learn every day. After 28 days, you'll be proficient in the basics, which is like an A1 level. You won't know every single thing because it is a huge task to learn a language in 28 days, but you'll have almost all of the important things you need to start speaking and using the language. So you'll reach an A1 level by the end of the month, and then you'll be able to test your knowledge. So in these carefully curated resources throughout the 28 days, I'm trying to create an immersive process for you so that you feel like you're completely immersed in the language. You'll need to spend two, three, maybe four hours a day learning. And there will be a full immersion day where you experience virtual German tours and things that deepen your cultural knowledge of German as well. Once you get into the flow of learning, I would recommend printing out long vocabulary lists of 100 or 200 words at a time. And instead of focusing on memorizing every individual word, I'd like you just to read through this list every single day Repetition is what's going to help these words stick. An even better idea is to read the German texts. You can read German children's books or start with simple German texts for beginning learners or whatever your level might be. Start with texts that are appropriate to your level and this will help you build more vocabulary as well. Then you're also going to be looking for German podcasts and videos that you enjoy listening to. It could be German movies or music as well. You want to personalize this study plan to revolve around your interests and hobbies and things that you enjoy. You don't want language learning to be a chore. I also have a list of German movies with subtitles that you can watch for free on YouTube. So you can use this playlist of German movies with subtitles when you're in the beginning phases trying to understand and practice listening comprehension. Then, as you get a little more advanced, you can try turning off the subtitles and see how much you can understand without them. It's a little bit more of a challenge. And one of the most important things you're going to need for this 28 day plan is a language exchange platform, something like Tandem. You can use any of them, really. The important thing is to find someone who speaks German as a native speaker. They're interested in learning your language, which may be English or something else. And you practice speaking each other's languages. And so you can get corrections from each other your native speakers, so you know exactly how the grammar and vocabulary is supposed to go. And just finding a native speaker is going to be maybe one of the most challenging aspects of this plan, but also going to help you progress the most. There's also a German dictionary and German translation tool, 
that might come in handy. I've included links to those. Then there's a long list of German texts, mostly from the Gutenberg project that you can go and look through. You can read them or print them out however you like to read. Some people don't like to read on the screen, so you can print them out. And I have a link to a German pronunciation checker. You want to know if you're pronouncing the words correctly or not. So that's where the German pronunciation checker will come in handy. You can check your pronunciation and it will give you instant feedback if you're pronouncing the word correctly. And finally, you'll find some links to online quizzes from the DW, Deutsche Welle. You can test your German and get a kind of placement for what level you are. And you can take these quizzes on German proficiency before you start learning, if you already have a little bit of German experience. Or you might just wait until the end if you're starting from zero and, and you know you already don't know any German. Now, let's talk about these six core competencies in German. Let's look at reading. This is one of the most fundamental skills you'll need. Reading will help you comprehend written texts, and it's a big section of any German proficiency test. But reading German texts will deepen your vocabulary, and it will deepen your understanding of German culture and language. So by finding different German reading materials, those could be articles, online, books, blog posts. Let's say, for example, you're interested in the topic of pets. Why not search for pets in German on Google and see what kind of German blog articles about that topic interest you? Another benefit of reading in German is that it helps familiarize you with different writing styles and different kinds of sentence structures. So that will come in very useful. Another important competency is writing. So when you're learning a new language, writing is going to be very important. It might seem like you can just type things down on your phone or use the autocorrect for whatever you want to write, but writing things down with a good old fashioned pen and paper is more beneficial because when you write things with your hands, you can create different kinds of memories and you don't have an autocorrect to rely on. So always good to write down German sentences, get maybe a notebook, and at first you can just copy sentences that you see. You don't have to try to write sentences when you don't know how. Just see sentences, simple ones, write them down. Noun, verb, object, like Ich gehe schwimmen. Ich schlafe um acht. Ich gehe zur Arbeit. And just start with simple things. Writing is going to help you remember how to spell, pronounce, and help you remember all those words. So after writing simple sentences, you might progress to writing some essays or articles in German, just a few hundred words, nothing super long. You might even consider some journal entries in German. Anything you can do to think and write in German more often is going to help you become proficient faster. Another core competency is listening. This can be one of the most difficult things. It's easy to see a word written on paper and write it down and kind of figure out what it means. But when you're listening, you only have one chance to hear something. And if you didn't catch it, then you might not understand the sentences. So be sure that you're practicing listening, either through German podcasts, German TV shows and movies, or anything in German you want to listen to. Your tandem language speaking partner, listen to them. And when you practice your German listening skills, it helps you recognize different accents. And so if you listen to Swiss German, it would sound completely different than if you're listening to German from Germany. So you might try listening to different German accents and see if you can understand them. Always helps to engage in real life interactions wherever possible. So that again is where I would recommend finding websites in German to practice what you're learning. Speaking is another core competency that can be one of the most intimidating. Many language learners are too shy to speak at first and have trouble overcoming this fear of not saying something correctly. But you're going to have to embrace the feeling of making mistakes and get over the fear of speaking. You can practice speaking by yourself and using a pronunciation checker to see how you're doing. Once you feel confident enough, try with a native speaker, someone who doesn't speak your language very well either, and you'll both be on an even playing field. This opportunity to practice pronunciation is so important. It's going to help you enhance your grasp of grammar, and it's going to force you to have to recall vocabulary. You're developing the ability to express yourself clearly and your pronunciation at the same time. So speaking in the language you want to learn has got to be one of the most important steps. Don't miss this step. 
And then we have vocabulary. It's important to build your vocabulary when you're learning a new language. And in order to build your vocabulary effectively, you'll need to learn how to pronounce the sounds. Because when you don't know how the words sound, it's going to be very difficult to remember them. So be sure that you know how a word is pronounced when you learn it and know how it's written. So you have all these different aspects of the word in your memories. You want to devote plenty of time every day to looking through your flashcards and your vocabulary lists. Flashcards are great because once you learn something really well, you can put that flashcard away and you're left with the stack of words that you just don't know that well. You can separate out those words that you really know well from those that you don't know very well. In vocabulary lists, you can cross out with the pen the words that you already know really well so that your brain can really focus on those ones you don't know. And I would recommend using multiple methods for vocabulary. Remember, all these aspects and core competencies work together. So you learn new vocabulary through reading, through speaking with a native speaker, through listening, and vocabulary lists. Don't rely on just one. You can use all of them. Then we have grammar. Grammar is also very important because you need to know how to form those sentences in German. Without grammar, you're just going to speak nonsense. Mostly you should focus on the correct word order and how to build simple sentences. And don't move on to topics that are too difficult before you master some more simple ones. If you move on to difficult grammar topics before you master the easier ones, they're going to be mind boggling and not make any sense. So make sure you learn the grammar topics in order so that you have an easy transition from one topic to the next, building upon each layer as you build your competency. And for a well-balanced study plan, you want to include all these six core competencies into what you're doing. You also want to have regular and consistent practice. Remember that language learning is an ongoing journey and that every day brings new possibilities for practice. You want to embrace the journey, stay motivated, and enjoy the rewarding experience of learning a language. So next, let's go week by week and have an overview of this 28-day plan to learn German. Remember, you can break this up into three months, six months, or whatever pace fits your needs. So in the next 30 days, you're going to embark on a German language learning journey. And by the end, you should be at an A1 proficiency level, but it's not going to be easy. By the end, you'll wield the power to effortlessly utter simple phrases, comprehend basic speech, and establish a rock-solid foundation in grammar. So the first day kicks things off with pronunciation. You want to learn the German alphabet, how to pronounce the letters and sounds, the vowels, the consonants. It's all about how to pronounce the sounds, how to pronounce the words. What do the letters sound like? What are the names of the letters in the alphabet? This is what you want to dive deep into for the first day. But remember, you want to come back to these sound drills as often as possible. Just because it's only here for one day doesn't mean you can't come back and review on another day. You shouldn't expect to remember or ace and memorize everything in just one sitting. Repetition is key to success here. Um, nobody's going to remember all the words or vocabulary the first time they read them. So don't expect to. It's all about repetition. You can come back to these day one exercises any day. So you'll find the German pronunciation guide, the verb placement and sentence structure video, word order basics, and a more in-depth guide on German word order. German pronunciation and verbs is day two, so you continue to learn about pronunciation and also about verbs in German. You're going to start conjugating German verbs in the present tense. And let's start with regular verbs and move on to regular verbs once you know the regular rules. You also want to work on your vocabulary. So as much time as you have, you might start with German words that are the same in English and German words that are almost the same in German and English. I would recommend these since you can instantly build your vocabulary with hundreds of words that you already know. You can get hundreds of free printable German flashcards at this resource here. Um, there are tons of resources in this book where you can just click on the link and you can go and print out the flashcards for free. I don't have any sources on the list for paid things, so this is all for free that you can download. Of course, if you want to buy a German book or you want to buy grammar aid or something else that's going to help you along the way, you can do that too. But you can also learn German just using all these free resources. 
you don't have to pay for anything. What else will you learn in the first week? You'll learn how to form questions in German, how to form negative statements. What are the pronouns in German? Ich, du, er, sie, es, wir, ihr, sie. So you want to learn these pronouns, how to use them. Then you'll learn different greetings, how to count the different numbers in German, and a basic overview of the tenses. What are the tenses? What are the cases? How do they work? There are some activities to do German greetings, and we can go through those. You're also going to practice listening and speaking skills in the first week. You can already start looking for a tandem language learning partner, or you can wait until week two when you feel like you have a little bit of a foundation to get started. If you're starting from zero, you might want to have a little bit of vocabulary and at least know some greetings before you look for a language learning partner in German. So you'll find lists to all the vocabulary you need to print out lists and flashcards, or you can use an app on your phone, whatever you prefer. Then in week two, it's all about building a more solid foundation. So you were introduced to all the basics in the first week, and the second week, you're going to dive a little bit deeper into that foundation. In the second week, you're going to focus on reading, listening, speaking, all the six core competencies. You'll pick out German texts that you want to read. You'll pick out videos that you want to watch, and you'll find that tandem language partner through whatever app. So you could use Tandem, Idioma, Speaky. I'm honestly not sure which one is the best, but you can choose any of them. And if you're already living in Germany, then just speak to German people. Like when you go out and go to the supermarket, go to a restaurant, you're already going to get so many opportunities to speak and listen. So it's going to be even easier to find someone to speak with. Then you won't need these apps. There's also going to be a lot of review of the vocabulary learned in week one. And you're going to learn about prepositions. And, and then you're going to dive into different grammar topics like comparative and superlative form. Also going to be introduced to adjective endings, which is a difficult topic in German. And you're going to be exploring some German customs and German culture. And so that will be a fun opportunity to do some virtual tours or visit some virtual German exhibits if you don't live in Germany. If you live in Germany, you can go ahead and visit those things in person. And there's also some suggestions for German music and the World Culture Encyclopedia has lots of information that you can use to learn about German. Week three is all about mastering those basics that you've been studying so far. So you're going to build your vocabulary and learn new grammar, separable verbs, and start in the accusative case. Once you go through these grammar topics, you'll get to practice your communication, how to give directions in German, how to use irregular verbs like sein and haben, You'll practice writing and speaking and using reflexive verbs like ich dusche mich, ich rasiere mich, ich fasche mich. And you'll explore some model verbs. Können, dürfen, sollen, mögen, möchten. And then by day 19, you'll be ready to go into the German past tenses. You'll learn about the past tenses and how to conjugate verbs in German in the past tense. And you'll deepen your reading comprehension skills with a few reading comprehension tests that I have included. And you'll have a regular German verbs chart to help you remember all the verbs. Regular German verbs chart lists all the regular German verbs and how to form them in the present and past tenses. You'll continue to learn about German case endings, and you'll find more learning resources for reading. You'll also spend more time speaking and listening and going through all of these activities. Week three, there will be an immersive listening and speaking practice day where you can choose a variety of content. It could be a short film, an interview. Day 23, you're going to practice your listening skills and be able to listen to German videos without the subtitles for the first time and challenge your comprehension at this point. And you'll continue diving into a full immersion day with virtual tours and different activities. Day 25 is about writing skills practice. So you'll be able to analyze the writing style, sentence structure, and vocabulary in these texts. And you'll also have some ideas for writing prompts. And so there's exercises that you can complete and you might include some indirect speech in German if you're feeling confident at this point. 
Yeah, and you will continue your proficiency until day 27 when you finally get a break. Um, feel free to take as many rest days as you want in between. Remember, there's no pressure to complete this in 28 days. And then day 28 is when you'll test your knowledge and see how far you've come. By then, you'll have a real foundation in the German language, regardless of how you place on the test. And you can look back and reflect on how far you've come in your language learning journey. At the end of the book, you'll find an index of all the resources. So you can find links to all of those articles and playlists and everything that you need about prepositions, German grammar resources. Well, yeah, three pages of resources. This blueprint will serve as the foundation for your German language learning journey. And I hope you find it useful. Let me know what you think, German learners. You can download this free book at mygermanizedlife.com. The 43-page book has everything you need with all the links to the resources. So you can learn German in 28 days. I hope that you find this comprehensive guide useful and come back next time for a new German learning lesson. So that was it for today's video, German learners. I hope you enjoy the resource at mygermanizedlife.com. You can download it for free as a PDF and you can print it, save it, share it with your friends, whoever wants to learn German. And remember, you can adopt this plan for whatever time frame you want to learn German in. If you want to learn German in a year, you can take this one month plan and learn German in any year. Remember to subscribe for more German learning videos and more videos like this. And in the shorts, every day you can learn a new German word and its definite article. We'll see you soon, German learners. Check out these videos. You might enjoy them. We'll see you next time. Bye, German learners.